Here's a quick introduction to the world of titrations. So, what kind of titrations can we do? The most common kind of titration is acid-base titration. A lot of high school students do acid-base titrations, like HCl reacting with sodium hydroxide. Um, there's also precipitation titrations, where we would add, let's say, chloride ion to a solution of lead to make lead chloride precipitate. There's redox titrations. Redox titrations involve using something that will be oxidized and adding an oxidant and oxidizing one of the reagents. So these are different types of titrations, but what's the premise? The premise involves stoichiometry. The whole premise here is I have, for example, some amount of iron 2, and I don't know how much iron 2 that I have. But I do know that I have a 1, 0 0.01 .01 mole of permanganate per liter of solution titrant. The amount of permanganate I add will tell me how much iron 2 I have. Let's do a little bit of an example. Let's say I have a solution, and in that solution there's a certain amount of hydroxide, and I'm not sure. But I do know that I have 25 milliliters. To this, I'm going to add a titrant. What titrant? Probably HCl. The whole idea of HCl is that it's a solution of hydronium. So let's say my hydronium solution is 0 0.5 moles per liter. That's moles of hydronium, or HCl per liter. Well, if it takes me 2 liters to titrate my solution, well, 2 liters of 0 0.5 moles of hydronium per liter of solution tells me that I've used one mole of hydronium in order to titrate the hydroxide. And the key now is to understand the, re the relationship between the amount of hydroxide and the amount of hydronium. So we look for the stoichiometry of the chemical reaction. In this case, we've picked one that's kind of easy. It's a one-to-one -one molar ratio which means I have one mole of hydroxide, or I must have had one mole of hydroxide. And if I have one mole of hydroxide divided by 0 0.025 liters, this gets me my concentration of sodium hydroxide. 